Have you ever wondered being so sure of something and in the end found yourself full? Well, it happened with Apostle Paul. He had spent so much energy to persecute and kill Christians, thinking it was God's will for his life. However, in an astonished chance meeting at the road to Damascus, Jesus showed that he was fighting on the wrong battle side. In Acts 26, we find Paul using his conversion story when asked to defend himself before King Agrippa. Starting on verse 9, we read, I too was convinced that I ought to do all that was possible to oppose the name of Jesus of Nazareth, and that is just what I did in Jerusalem. On the authority of the chief priests, I put many of the Lord's people in prison, and when they were put to death, I cast my vote against them. Many a time I went to one synagogue to another to have them punished, and I tried to force them to blaspheme. I was so obsessed with persecuting them that I even hunted down in foreign cities. On one of these journeys, I was going to Damascus with the authority and commission of the chief priests. About noon, King Agrippa, as I was on the road, I saw a light from heaven, brighter than the sun, blazing around me and my companions. We all fell to the ground, and I heard a voice saying to me in Aramaic, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? It is hard for you to kick against the cults. According to Chuck Swindle, leader of Dallas Theological Seminary, to kick against the cults was a common expression found in both Greek and Latin literature, a rural image, which rose from the prats of farmers goading their oxen in the fields. Though unfamiliar for us, everyone in that day understood it, its meaning. Cults were typically made from a slender piece of timber, blunt on one end and pointing on the other. Farmers used a pointed end to urge a stubborn ox into motion. Occasionally, the beast would kick at the goats. The more the ox kicked, the more likely the goat would stab into the flesh of its leg, causing greater pain. By using such expression, Jesus would like to say that Paul was acting like a wild animal, not willing to be conducted by the farmer. As much Paul did not surrender himself to God, much more he would be wounded. You know, sometimes we can do the same thing, doing what we think is right, but actually standing foolishly. May God help you and me to not fight against His will.